Hello, uh, welcome to my channel. Today we will talk about how to identify performance problems uh, in a ReactJS application. We know that ReactJS is very efficient and very performance oriented, but sometimes we can we uh, misuse its uh, features and create performance issues in our application. In order to identify this, these problems, we will use a library named Why Did You Render? This library use, is used to identify unnecessary rendering in your ReactJS application. Uh, if you are uh, rendering any component that is not required to be rendered, uh, that means it didn't update or something, then it will identify those issues and notify you. We will use this in uh, development mode because in production mode we won't do any optimization. We usually don't do any kind of optimization. Okay. So to follow along, you will need a very basic React application. Here is uh, one I have created using Create React app. The first thing is to install this uh, library. Let's do that. So if you do that, I have already done it. But if you uh, run this command from the source, from the uh, root of your project, then uh, this library is uh, installed and you can check it here. Right? Okay. So uh, this is our app component. Let's create uh, a fake problem in our uh, application. Uh, let's name it. Okay, we will name it component with problem. First we have to import React. Here we will take a uh, use um, user uh, uh, user object uh, like this. And set to an empty object. Here we will uh, show, uh, for example, uh, let's initialize with the name. For example, the user's name is Tyson. Okay. So here we will uh, show the user uh, the name of the user. Right? So this is a very basic component. Let's import it into our app.js. We, we have already run the uh, component uh, run the application so let's see the output in our browsers okay so here you can see that our user's name is person and we will open the console so that you can uh, see the uh, outputs real time okay so uh, up until this point uh, this is a uh, very basic component uh, in order to identify if a component is rendering over and over and over we can uh, do one thing we just put a very basic uh, consular inside this component okay now create a button okay so we need a function named update user What we will do in this function is we will set the user. So notice one thing. Whenever we will click on this button, the this function will be called. And what this function is doing is setting the user uh, with the name of Python. So uh, the actual value of this object is not changing. So in in uh, theory our component should not, should not re-render because nothing is updated the name is not changed this object is remaining the same so let's see if it works or not okay let's keep an eye on the console rendered okay fine one time so let's see whenever we are clicking on this update button our component is rendering first try to understand why is this happening every time i am 
calling set user this piece of code is creating a new object reference so although the value is same that means name is remaining as first all as the reference value of this object is changing that's why our component thinks that this component is being updated and it is re-rendering over and over and over again if you can see here see each time we click on this button this component is being re-rendered so you can imagine if you have 10 of this type of component and you are thinking that they are not re-rendering but in practice they are rendering so in this case we have created this problem artificially so we know why it's happening what if you don't know then the power of the package you are going to use it will come in handy so to, uh, we installed the dependency before now what we will do is create a new file named wydr why did uh, you render or something like that dot js okay and we paste this piece of code i will give this i'll give the link in the description so this piece of code uh, into this file so let's try to understand uh, what is happening here we are identifying if the environment is developing because we don't need any kind of performance optimization or uh, debugging in uh, production mode then in this line we are uh, importing the library and we are just hooking our application uh, to this uh, library okay so the next thing we need to do is in our index.js file we have to import this file this is very important that we input this file as the first thing in your index.js file or whatever the root of your application if you are uh, building any application with create react app then uh, you need to import it inside the index.js file okay and the last thing we need to do is we need to uh, enable the tracking mode for this uh, application how we will do that we will uh, do that by using this line okay so component uh, dot why did you render equals to two if we do that then this component will be tracked and we may now need to export it in the bottom of the file and we now need to import it like this as well uh, exporting it uh, as a default right okay so we have done three things we created a configuration file here we imported it in the index.js file as the first dependency and then uh, in our actual component that we want to track we just uh, turned on the switch or something like that right uh, let's see what difference does it make uh, in our application so let's refresh this right now you can see that beside the previous rendered also log there is a new log here and this log is telling something to us first things it says re-rendered because of hook changes which hook we're using a use state hook here so it's saying that something is wrong with this use state hook and it re-rendered because of this okay here is the reason different objects that are equal by value we previously said that the first object is named with fuzzle and each time we are clicking or setting the user it's also named with fuzzle so uh, these are same objects these are not same objects but these are with objects with same values so this is a problem so we are uh, seeing this in the console log and it also shows us what was the previous value and what's the next value so the name is not changing here so now we know exactly why our component is being re-rendered and we can solve this by uh, doing a very simple thing for example uh, if we don't create this object over and over here 
and we we'll just do it like this then our problem shouldn't be appearing let's see so uh, we also change this the initial value to update the result so now what's happening here we are taking the same object over and over again and setting this in our initial state and also updating the set uh, state with this same object that's why it don't re-render this time let's see if it works or not okay yes so now we are updating the trying to update the component but it's not being re-rendered so that's how we can use this awesome library named why did you render to identify performance problems this was a known problem that we created artificially but in a real life application there will be uh, this kind of problems that you won't be able to find for yourself and this library can help you do that so i hope you enjoyed this video see you in the next one thank you